it's the moment you've all been waiting for. Rome Vlog 2023 for the besties. I'm gonna be honest at the very start of this video that not much tennis is featured because I spent the majority of my time trying to bloody find Van RC. We started by watching my dear sweet Botic who was meant to practice with Zverev, but that German bastard was 45 minutes late. I then went to the practice court that Bublik was supposed to be at but that Kazakh motherfucker also didn't show up. But no qualms because lo and behold, my dearly beloved Alexei Poprin was there too. Alexei practiced for like 30 minutes and then the sweet angel came and took a photo with me. He had to shrink down one and a half feet to get in the frame with my five foot short ass. Kokonokis was due on the same practice court in two hours time and I knew if it didn't stop raining he wouldn't practice so I was stressing with a capital S. It was getting closer to the time than RC was due on court and whilst I kept it together on the surface inside I was screaming. Literally five minutes before Koki was due on court, Sasha Bublik appears out of nowhere. I've met Bublik three times so I spoke to him for a second which calmed me down about meeting Koki honestly perfect timing Mr. Bublik I forgive you for not showing up for Alexi. I got a selfie with Sasha before his practice, he is now the player I have most selfies, would we love the king of fan service? And then Koki came on court late as expected. Koki and Bublik have played doubles before and I've told then I see how much I love Bublik so I can't believe the time I finally see Koki is when they're both together. Hashtag live stays blessed. He recognized me from like 20 meters away what the fuck honestly. I watched his entire practice which was a whole 15 minutes we love a hard working dedicated king. After the practice he left the court into the main spectator area and he got swarmed by hundreds of tiny rat children. I called over to him and he recognized me again and pushed a child aside to take a selfie with me honestly such a legend 10 out of 10s and at last Kokonokis meets his biggest fan and I meet my biggest fan. When I say I've been waiting 10 years to meet him again I really mean it. My friends and I first met Koki in Wimbledon in 2013. We were 16 and he was 17 and I have been his biggest supporter ever since. I didn't even get a photo with him back then. All we have is this blurry pic of him and Nick Kyrgios in the background. After I met him me and my friend went to celebrate and had five drinks in the space of 30 minutes and I also hadn't eaten so I got very drunk very fast. It was then time for Koki's match and I'll be honest I don't remember much because I was blacking out law. They only played for like 30 minutes because the Spanish bloke retired. After the match Koki came straight over to me and gave me his towel. He also took another selfie which I didn't realize got packed until later that evening when Fantasy sent me the photo himself law. I only remember saying I love you to him but I probably said some other crap but he smiled real big so whatever. Luckily Alexi Poprin was still playing because I had so much energy so my friend and I went and turned up his match. Alexi ended up winning which meant I saw both of my Aussie boys win in the same day honestly hashtag live stays blessed. Day 2 I honestly didn't spend much time there because I was so hungover, ill, 
mentally and physically exhausted from the day before. Overall this had to be one of the best experiences of my life. I travel for tennis because I love the sport, the atmosphere, the community and I have made so many friends through tennis. But of course the highlight of this whole thing was finally seeing Kokonakis again. I can't explain how it feels to be reunited with someone after a whole decade, especially after how tumultuous his career has been. Anyway that's the end of that thanks for watching and listening to my stream of consciousness. My next tournament is Wimbledon so see you in July motherfuckers.